Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus here. I'm going to show you how to insert the SD card as well as the SIM card in properly and how to double check as well. First thing is the uh, SIM tray and the SD card tray is connected to the very top here. So go ahead and grab your SIM ejection tool right here. Uh, if you don't have this, you can use the back of the earring stud or like a thin bobby pin or paper clip as well. Anyways, there's a little hole on top right there. Just go ahead and put the needle in there and give it a little pressure till it kind of pops out right there. And now you can go ahead and kind of slide out the tray. Let me go ahead and put the tray down and let me get my SIM card out of my iPhone. This is the first time I'm putting in a SIM card as well as a um, SD card in here. So here's my SIM card here to my other phone. And now go ahead and grab the tray here and we'll start off with the SIM card first, okay? So here's the SIM card here. We can see this diagonal slant right there and there's a slant on the SIM card right here. So simply place this on here and you wanna press down till you hear like a little snap so it doesn't come out, okay? So you can see it right here. Remember the pin is on the bottom right hand side and you can see how that looks here. And let me go ahead and grab the SD card here and the SD card goes in exactly how it looks like here on the cutout. So simply pop that on here and you do want to go ahead and press it in to hear like a little snap here. Okay, it's in and to double check here, make sure it's not going to fall out. Let me go ahead and slide this in. Let's go ahead and slide this in. And let's see if it registers right away. It said no SIM on there, no network. Give it a second here. Okay, just found my T-Mobile right there. And let me go ahead and slide up here and let me put my password in. Now it says here, service provider update. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. The device is gonna restart here. Tap on okay, wait for this to reboot. And it's booting back up here. Now this pops up. Okay, so we're back up here. And you can see up here, you can see the bars right there. It did say LTE there a moment ago as well. Now I'll check the uh, settings of the uh, SIM card there. So simply you can just scroll down, tap on the gear icon to go into the settings here. Then tap on connections right here. And then what we wanna do is we wanna go down to mobile networks, tap on that. You can see that I have my data roaming. It's on by default, your network mode here, you can see LTE, 3G, 2G, it's, it's on auto connect right there. Access points, automatically found my T-Mobile here in the US and I can tap on there for uh, network operators and I can also do like a search automatically. So I know the SIM card is up and running. Now we're gonna check the uh, SD card here. If I simply scroll down notifications, you can see right here it says unsupported SD card as you can read right there, it says this device doesn't support this SD card. So no problem here. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide down again. We're going to go into settings. And then from settings, we're going to go ahead and we're going to scroll down. And we're going to go down to where it says device care right here. Tap on device care. Then tap on storage right down here. And then you see the three dots on the top right hand side. Tap on that. And then we're going to go down to storage settings tap on that and we can see the uh, internal or device storage here on top in the bottom here portable storage which is my SD card it says unsupported I'm simply going to go ahead and tap on that and it says to use this SD card it must be set up so I'm going to go ahead and tap on setup right here and now this what this is going to do is going to format the card so anything that is currently on the card is going to be deleted okay so I'm going to go ahead and format the SD card right now remember formatting will erase any existing content on this SD card okay so anything I have on there is going to be long gone Anyways, I'm gonna click on format SD card right there. Give this a second here. Okay, looks like it's done here. I can go ahead and click on done right there. And now we can see the SD card is down here and it's good to go, okay? Any questions or anything, just comment below. Thanks for watching, guys.